let's just look at another way to understand dollar signs. And the reason we're spending so much time on this is because they are that important. So what we've got here is a very simple block. You see it goes 10, 11, 12, 13, hundreds, 200s, 300s. We've created a whole bunch of formulas. So the first one has no dollar. So you'll see it looks at the first cell and then we've copied it across and down. So what you should see is that this cell over here is looking over here. So the way no dollar works is this cell looks here. If we go, let's say, two to the right and two down, that cell over there, if you see where it's looking, it started looking here, it goes two to the right, two down. So it's a relative reference. The row dollar, we've now put a dollar sign on the nine. So what you'll see is it just repeats that same row again and again. Because when it goes down, what it should do is move to row 10, but because of the dollar sign, it's not doing it. If we've got a column dollar, so we've now put the dollar sign on the letter, now what we're doing is we're telling Excel, you can go up and down as much as you like, but never refer to anything else except A. If we look at these formulas, so now we've looked at the numbers, just next door we've got the exact same thing, but now you see what the formula looks like. So you'll see with no dollar, what happens is the A turns to the B, turns to a C, turns to a D. And as it goes downwards, the 9 turns to a 10, turns to 11, turns to a 12. Compare that, compare that when you've got a dollar sign on the row. So notice here, A, B, C still happens, A, B, C, D. But notice when we copy down, it just keeps referring to row 9. Same with the column. Here we've got the columns, and you can see 9, 10, 11, 12. So going downwards, it changes. But notice that going to the right, it's always at looking at column A. And the one that you'll probably use mostly is where you've got a dollar on the A and a dollar on the 9. And notice here, no matter where we copy it, it's always going to look at column A, row 9. So this is a nice way to understand what will happen when you take a reference and move it around depending on whether they are or aren't dollars.